الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيدي شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهما السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي المقصرة المذنبة بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره As we draw closer to the election season presidential election in the United States Anti-Muslim sentiments and bigotry becomes loud, louder and noisier. Today, some of you know and some of you may not know that today and tomorrow, October 9th and 10th, has been designated by some people in America as the global rally for humanity. They are organizing anti-Muslim protests in front of many mosques throughout the nation in almost all the 50 states in the United States in America, in front of Islamic centers and mosques to protest what they call, what they call the daily attack on the humanity by radical Islam. They are protesting the daily attack on the humanity by the radical Islam. I have three points to mention here, to comment on this event. Point number one, we should not be worried about this, neither be upset about it. Because this is a free country. In a country that is pluralistic and free, People have the freedom to express themselves. We should not be angry if someone does not like me. If someone wants to say your religion is bad, I should not be angry. This is a free country and that person bears the responsibility of what he or she are saying. They bear the responsibility. And there is a bigger responsibility. Allah says everything you say, everything you do, there are ramifications for it. There are results for it. مَا يَنْطِقُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ So this is free country. Let them protest. Let them say what they want to say. They represent themselves. كُلٌ يُنْفِقُ مِمَّا عِنْدَهِ What a beautiful Jesus said 2,000 years ago. Isa alayhi salatu was salam. One day he was passing someone said something nice to him. One minute later, something assaulted him, verbally assaulted him. Some of his Hawariyun disciples, they said, what's happening, Ya Ruh Allah? One of them is saying something sweet. The other, other one is attacking you. He said something very beautiful. He said, Kullun yunfiqu mimma inda. Everyone here is using his own assets, drawing on his background. This nice person, his background is nice and civilized and balanced. He's saying something good about us. 
The other one represents his family, his upbringing, his environment, the environment where he was raised. We Muslims, we have to be good because our book says we have to be good. We go back to this book. We go back to the mihrab, to the salat. Salatul Jumu'ah is supposed to make us good and speak good and do good. Others who spend their time drinking and dancing and eating lahmul khinzir, pork, or their muscles are grown on pork, of course you don't expect them to be muqaddus al-ardabili or to, to recite the Bible. So we should not be worried about that. This is point number one. Point number two, many of those protesting with their leaders who are behind them and encouraging them are seeking cheap attention. Many of them are attention seekers. Even a person like Ben Carson, when he says that uh, I think it is unfitting for a Muslim to be in, a white, in the White House, He's seeking, he knows what he's saying is not right. Because if there is, it is not befitting for a Muslim to be in the White House, definitely it would not be fitting for a black person to be in the White House too. So he knows what he's saying is, is, is wrong. But he seeks attention, cheap attention. He wants to get votes and attention from the media. Also when Donald Trump, the other day, when someone asked him about Islam, and he said we have that Islam is the reason for the trouble in this country, and we have to kick them out, he said we would look into that. This is irresponsible. What did you see from the Muslims here? Muslims are law-abiding. Muslims are good citizens here, respecting this country, contributing into this country. So this is, unfortunately, they are fueling the fan of bigotry and racism and irresponsibility in this country. So they are seeking attention. They do not understand the real Islam. And some of them, they do understand the real Islam. But unfortunately, when someone is racist and bigot, nothing you can do about it. It's not about knowledge or education. Some of them are well educated and they know who's who they know who's right who's wrong they know that islam is not a wild religion is not a savage religion islam, islam is based on peace on in, on bringing others on unity on love on care but unfortunately some people are racist they don't like you to be here they don't like you to live on this land the third point that i have I tell the anti-Muslim rallies that if you, are, if you want to protest, do not protest in front of mosques and Islamic centers. This is not the right place. The right place is to protest in front of the Pentagon and the State Department and the White House and the Israeli embassy and the Saudi embassy who created ISIS, who created the Takfiri ideology it's not in the mosque the mosque and people who go to the mosque are god-fearing law-abiding peaceful citizens they are your neighbors your co-workers your friends they are not guilty they did not do something wrong they do not condone terrorism they do not condone killing they are against that we are the victims of terrorism go to the people who established radicalism Go to the people who finance them and they're still financing them and helping them militarily and financially. Go to these countries, not to the Islamic centers. However, may Allah keep Islam, inshallah, strong and thriving. And believe me, this is one of the signs that Islam is moving forward. When you see some people protesting, it means that Islam is making strides, moving forward. Islam is successful in this country. Otherwise, if Islam was a dead religion, who would care to mention Islam? Nobody. Nobody would even mention the name Islam. But because Islam is, alhamdulillah, moving forward, attracting the minds, the hearts of those who are open-minded, 
And this is why there are some people who are sick, and this is the manifestation of their sickness. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna Allah ya'mur bil adli wal ihsani wa ita'i dhil qurba wa yanha anil fahshai wal munkari wal baghi ya'idhukum la'allakum tadakkaroon. Allahumma akhfir lil mu'minin wal mu'minat wal muslimin wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat tabi'i allahumma baynana wa baynahum bil khayrat innaka mujib wal da'wat. Allahumma wahid kalimat al muslimin على الخير والبر والصلاح والتقوى يا أرحم الراحمين وعجل في فرج سيدنا ومولانا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء ثواب الفاتح مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد